Morning everyone. Hope you've had a great week. Hope we've got a great week to come. Before we start, we're gonna just open up. We're gonna put a bubble of white light of protection around ourselves individually. And as a soul group that I actually realise that we are, we're not just family, we're a soul group. So we're gonna put that bubble of white protection around all of us as a whole. Now this week I want to talk about taking secrets to your grave. I happen to have experience of this of my own self, so that's why I'm talking about it today. Some people hold their guilt or their shame their whole lives for stuff that they've done as a child. Right? And, and most of this stuff is out of their control in terms of, like, say for instance, in the 1950s or 60s you got pregnant, it was a shameful thing. Like, proper shameful thing. Not like today's society. And those people that suffered in that, they get their children taken away from them for adoption, etc. They carried that burden their whole lives. Now some of them girls had babies and they kept it secret their whole life and took that secret to the grave of them. And like, it's really bad for your soul to do stuff like that. Allow yourself the grace to forgive yourself for stuff that you did when you were young and foolish. for that every single day of her life so please if you've got old stuff we'll put it in a dustbin today actually we'll put it in the shame dustbin not just our irritating dustbin so you can get shot of this if you're not ready to do it right now listen to this video later on and do it then so now we'll get to work so we're going to Get ourselves nice and comfortable in our chairs. Take three deep breaths. And we walk up our favorite wooded path. It's lovely and warm today. Got a small breeze. And you can smell the pine in the trees. You can hear the leaves rustle. There's butterflies and bunnies jumping about all in front of our feet. And we've got an appreciation today for things that we stopped noticing before. The sun, the air, the freedom that we've got to have these things in our life. And they're free. Don't have to be rich to get them. through the leaves, the songs of the birds, the chatter of the animals, and we will come to our dustbin of shame, right, things that we beat ourselves up for, things that we are ashamed of, things that we didn't do very well, or that we were mean or hurtful to the detriment of someone else. every day of your life forgive yourself forgive yourself there's a 
lot of heartache goes in this bin because it's not only the hurt that you do to other people but you actually hurt yourself at the same time get all that lot into the bin put that lid on we're going to go on an exciting journey now we're free of all our old stuff ready to face the world fresh as a newborn baby and we come into our tree and even though that we go into our own safe spots within that tree we're still united we're still together even though we're separate and we're going to send all our love and healing to the people of the planet today without prejudice we're without judging no matter who it is, all over the world, whether they're tyrants and despots and abusers, or whether it's the abused and the sick and the lonely, everyone is getting our love and healing today. I'll leave you there.
some healing for ourselves or for individuals that you know that you want to give personal healing to a little bit for ourselves today put your hands on your heart
as we pass the brown dustbin, we actually send our love to not only our stuff, but to everyone else who's put stuff in their brown dustbins too. <clears throat> and we walk past the grey dustbin. Thank God I learned how to get rid of all my stuff. And then you walk down the path, still listening to the birds and the bees, breathing in great big lungs full of fresh air. Until we come back to the chair that we started off in. Three deep breaths to bring yourself back to the now. And you feel wonderful. Right, so card for today. I'll try and do it so you can see it this time. Another set of cards that I got for my birthday this year. Thank you very much. Carl Gray's or Kyle Gray, Angels and Ancestors and the Sun is a card that I pull today. And I actually think that's quite a, an apt card for today because this is the week of <clears throat> lessening of controls, etc., etc. So for, for us, it's a very, very positive card. It's a card of new beginnings, of success, of happiness. And it's the starting of our new life. And it's a it's so positive this card and it's like you spread every time anyone looks at you and you're smiling your smile spreads to them and then their smile spreads to other people but it's also a portent of really positive things to come really positive things to come now I know everyone's doom and gloom about this week right and I know there's a certain amount of people that are always going to be crazy around it but most people are keeping themselves safe out there and that's all I'm asking you to do be aware, make it as hard for that disease to get onto you as you possibly can, but don't let yourself be so frightened that you can't go out and do anything. Right? We cannot live in fear. Fear is what controls us, and we can't live our life being fearful. So if your instinct tells you, oh, this feels wobbly, I don't feel safe here, walk away. It's as simple as that. Walk away till you do feel safe. Like I keep saying to you, your health is your wealth. Money's nothing to do with wealth. Your health is your wealth. Your health and your happiness, because it's all one of the same thing. Because if you're not happy, you're not going to be healthy either, are you? So just be mindful of what you of the situations that you put yourself into this week. Now I read this poem when I very first started doing this work. But of course, I only had a few people looking at it. And I, I think it's such a beautiful poem that I think you all deserve to hear it. When I first said it, I actually only said it for the people that didn't have the luxury of having a partner, even if that partner was to argue within the lockdown. But it was for the people on their own. But this is just for, just for us all, because we all need, we all feel that need to feel loved. Right? Because like Mother Teresa says, there's more hunger for love and appreciation in the world today than for bread. Right, anyway, this is a beautiful poem by a girl called Kim Novak, or Kate Novak, and it's so beautiful. Have you been fed today? Has anyone told you that you are loved? Has anyone made you feel appreciated and let you know how special you are? Has anyone assured you that you're exactly who you need to be and that in simply doing what you love to do, you're enough? Has anyone reminded you that you didn't come here to prove anything? You just came to be you because being you is enough. You're one of a kind, a true original, a masterpiece of incomparable value and without you, the world would be incomplete like a puzzle missing a crucial piece and you are the only being in the universe who can feel that final space. Has anyone told you that the regrets of yesterday belong to yesterday? 
and that right now, in this one profound moment in time, you are perfect, as perfect as you were created to be. Has anyone taken the time to let you know that you are infinitely smarter than you give yourself credit for being? And a thousand times more capable of cheesing your dreams than you believe yourself to be? <clears throat> Has anyone told you that you should never, ever doubt your own work? Because even in those moments when you feel it the least, you are still wonderfully made. And there is enough energy within every single cell of your being, enough power to light the world. God placed it there the day that you were born. And every loving thought that you think radiates forward, brightening the world and making it a better place to be. That's how powerful you are. That's how loving you are. So I, so now I ask you again, have you been fed today? Has anyone told you that you are truly loved? If not, then won't you please let me be the one? I love you. Fantastic words. Fantastic words. So I hope you go out today feeling very loved very cosseted and knowing that you matter you matter even in the slightest smallest way that you can think of you matter so thank you girls thank you nurses and doctors and dustmen and the care workers the key workers I never say that word the key workers I think encompasses everybody that goes out there and thank you to yourself because you're willing to change and grow and progress and not stay the same. And there's a reward for that. So thank you, all of you. Once again, please share these videos. If they help even one person out there, they're valuable videos. And I also, I'll put them on YouTube so that you can get easy access to my older ones. And they're under Eileen's Crystal Singing Bowl Meditations. Thank you very much for coming. See you same time, Monday around 12 o'clock. I do try to aim for. <laughs> we'll see whether it comes on time or not. Thank you very much for listening. Have a great week. Stay safe out there. Be alert. Be careful. Make it hard. Love you all.